today, we have something different. It's going to be the very basics. If you have never used Roblox Studio before this video right here, you will be able to after this video, and you will know the core mechanics, the core basics, and the core features of Roblox Studio. But before we get into today's video, we would like to remind you that Moonpreneur is offering free game development classes for kids aged 7 to 16. If your child is interested in game development, you shouldn't miss this chance. Book a free trial class today and watch your child's creativity soar. Let's start the video. So first things first. To download Studio, all you do is log into your Roblox account, go to the Create tab, and yours will not look exactly like this. There will be a little message saying, hey, would you like to get Studio? And then you click Create and Edit or whatever it says right here. And boom! It'll prompt you to download Studio. Now that you've got Studio, you're going to create a new experience just like this. And then you could click on any of these if you're brand new and you'd like to start with something that's been pre-made so you could see how it was made and all that kind of stuff. There are all these templates that you're able to choose from. We're going to go to a normal base plate for now. So when you join, your studio will probably look something like this. That's something like this. And the first thing I would do when you open a new studio is click up here on the view tab and just save to Roblox and turn this on. So just click save. There we go. And it's going to reload it. And what Team Create does is it lets you work on the game with your friends. But more importantly than that, it auto saves your game. Now, if you've never used this before, you might not know how to move around, look around, zoom in and out, all that kind of stuff. And if you've been on a computer before this video, you probably will figure it out pretty easily. It's indeed to kind of fly around in this space. And while you're pressing those, you can hold your right mouse button down to move and look around. So now we can move, and we could turn our head to look around. If you want to slow your movement, you can hold shift while you're pressing any of these W, A, S, and D keys. And that will give you slower movement. And that's how you move around Studio. Up next, guys, the basics of Roblox Studio. The very fundamental basics. First. We have our parts here. This will give you a drop down menu for a block, a sphere, a wedge, a corner wedge, and a cylinder. You just click on one of these, and now you have a part in your workspace. You could click on any of them, and they will just spawn in pretty much where you're looking. Now we have these. And since we know of our parts, now let's get into our tools. The only ones you'll really be using on a day to day basis are these four. Right here, we have Select, which just lets you kind of hover over a part and select it. Pretty self-explanatory. Then we have Move. This lets you move along single axes, if that's what you would like to do. Instead of just grabbing it and dragging it, you can actually move it just on the axis you want. Very helpful. Click to expand the remaining messages. To get a precise position of an object, press Ctrl plus Shift plus M to open the Move to window. Here you can enter exact coordinates for the X, Y, and Z axes. This is especially useful for aligning objects precisely or moving them to a specific location. Now that you know the basics of moving, rotating, and scaling objects in Roblox Studio, let's talk about organizing your workspace. As your projects become more complex, it's important to keep things organized to avoid confusion and make it easier to navigate your game. One way to organize your workspace is by using the Explorer panel. You can think of the Explorer as a file manager for your game. It shows a hierarchical view of all the objects in your game, including parts, models, scripts, and more. You can expand and collapse folders to show or hide their contents. To create a new folder, right-click on an empty space in the Explorer and select Add Folder. Give your folder a name and press Enter. You can then drag and drop objects into the folder to keep them organized. This is particularly useful when you have many objects in your game and want to group related items together. Another way to organize your workspace is by using the Layers panel. The Layers panel allows you to assign objects to different layers, similar to layers in image editing software. You can create new layers, rename them, 
and assign objects to specific layers. This can help you separate different parts of your game, such as terrain, buildings, or characters, and work on them independently. To create a new layer, click on the New Layer button in the Layers panel. Give your layer a name and press Enter. You can then assign objects to the layer by selecting them in the Explorer and dragging them onto the desired layer. You can also use the visibility toggle next to each layer to hide or show objects on that layer. Using folders and layers, you can keep your workspace clean and organized, making it easier to find and work with specific objects in your game. Finally, let's talk about collaborating with others using Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio offers a feature called Team Create, which allows multiple developers to work on the same game simultaneously. This is great for collaborative projects or getting feedback and assistance from others. To enable Team Create, go to the View tab, click on Team Create, and then click Save to Roblox. This will enable Team Create for your game and allow you to invite others to join you. You can invite other developers by clicking on the Invite to Edit button in the Collaborators panel. Simply enter their Roblox username and click Invite. Once they accept the invitation, they can join your game and start editing with you. Team Create also includes a chat feature, allowing you to communicate with your collaborators in real time. You can use the chat to discuss ideas, coordinate tasks, or ask for help. This makes it easier to work together and create amazing games as a team. In conclusion, we've covered the core mechanics, basics, and features of Roblox Studio in this video. From downloading and navigating the studio to creating and manipulating objects, organizing your workspace, and collaborating with others using Team Create, you now have a solid foundation to start creating your own games in Roblox Studio. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be afraid to experiment and explore the various tools and features available in Roblox Studio. The more you use it, the more comfortable and proficient you'll become. Thank you for watching this video, Moonpreneurs. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos on game development and Roblox Studio. And don't forget to check out Moonpreneur. Click to see them.